What's up guys, it's All Day Anthony, welcome back to the CRZ vlog that you hopefully know and will eventually love because in today's video we're restoring the headlights on the CRZ as well as giving it a fresh oil change. Let's get started. Alright guys, and welcome back to the CRZ vlog that you will, mark my words, eventually love. Because in today's video, we're getting started with restoring some of the bits here on the CRZ, which starts off with the headlights here. So we're going to be restoring those along with giving it a much needed oil change as this car has been sitting for well over a year. Now as you can see, I've already made some modifications of my own to this thing, which, uh, not a serious mod, but just a temporary thing uh, until I can get the hood resprayed. So uh, we had some extra vinyl lying around at work in this Avery Carbon, and we were like, you know, what the heck, right? What's the worst thing that can happen? It looks bad, it already looked bad, so uh, we threw it on there. So we threw on the temporary just until I can get the hood resprayed, probably here, maybe once it warms up a little bit or I can find a good shop to uh, knock it out for me. So uh, yeah, Avery, I can't remember what the carbon is on this. It looks, under this light it looks pretty good. Out in the sun it can kind of look a little tacky. I don't know, do you like it? Do you hate it? Should I rip it off right now? maybe drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. But uh, yeah, it was better than clear coat failure. So again, it is a temporary thing. So back to what we're gonna be doing today. Again, we're gonna be restoring the headlights here on the CRZ, getting these cleaned up. Now my favorite part about headlight restoration is that it's a thing. And basically you can make the car look uh, kinda like new again, right? It's kinda like a Botox situation. Definitely makes it look a lot better for a period of time uh, and that's the plan today. Now again, the oil's been sitting for quite some time as well, a year, so I grabbed some stuff from my local O'Reilly's here. Um, mobile One, high mileage, OW20, Mobile One filter, obviously, gotta get that monster in, uh, headlamp, and uh, a fancy makeup brush for when I'm feeling pretty uh, pretty extra later. But anyways, so getting back to this, we're gonna get started, jump straight into it. Um, I wanna apologize really quick because I have a huge mess in my garage. Uh, it's been chaos at my house, right? All sorts of little projects. This is a barn door. This is some type of wood top for Something, I'm not sure. I don't know when these are gonna get out of the garage, but it kind of is what it is. Um, I haven't really showed you guys the garage here in a little bit, but uh, the BMW is currently in the shop right now, and uh, yeah, that's a long story. I, I, actually, it's not a long story. The BMW is in the shop, so that's pretty much that. And then I picked up a uh, pretty cool set of Evo 9 uh, SE Recaros, the uh, front seats as well as the rears that I'm gonna be restoring and cleaning up. So uh, yeah, you can tell they need a little bit of some love, but I think I can do some magic with these. So I picked them up for a really good deal. And then one other thing I wanna show you, I wanna give a shout out to uh, Caleb Ness Fine Art for uh, painting this for me. Never had anybody paint something for me, and uh, pretty badass, man. So that's the Civic, and it's uh, Show Car Day. Not days, but literally day. If you haven't seen that episode, I highly recommend checking it out because it was a ton of fun. And then over here, another project that I'll be taking on uh, here pretty soon on the Evo, which is uh, switching over to the JDM headlights, uh, the JDM Evo 9 MR headlights, which is essentially just a flip of the uh, reflector, but uh, hey, Makes a big difference, I'm excited. So with that said, enough talking. I'm gonna throw in the GoPro, get this car jacked up, drain this oil, uh, and put the new stuff in. All right, so they put this in a pretty ideal position, if I'm being honest, because when you get down here, you have your drain plug, oil filter, that goes right there. I can pretty much catch both. So this is a 16 on here. Need to crank loose, so lefty loosey. Righty, dude, it gets me every time. Okay, lefty loosey. Yep, ouch. There goes the GoPro. <laughs> Back this out. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna let that drain, get the oil filter out, bring it back down, let it drip dry, 
uh, sew everything back up and then put new oil in. I think we're looking at 3.8 quarts, so uh, not too shabby, not too bad. And uh, we'll go from there. Not gonna lie, not having the under tray under here. <laughs> it's uh, kind of nice, right? I hate not having under trays, but in this situation, it makes things pretty easy for me. So, cool, we're gonna bring it down now. Again, just let that drip for a little bit. guys so with the oil changed and this thing running smooth as butter it's time to knock out these headlights now what's funny about the CRZ headlights is that these things are actually pretty cool if I say so myself I mean especially being that it's a hybrid but they have this really cool kind of blue passive demon eye effect around the projector uh, that I think just looks really high-end and these things can look actually really aggressive uh, when they're not all faded in yellow now in my car here I actually have the OEM HIDs which came with the EX nav trim edition of the CRZ here uh, so I'll definitely get a lot more light output as well so it'll definitely be a lot safer when it comes to nighttime driving now the plan for this today is actually gonna be a little bit different than my other headlight restoration videos I've made a couple here on the channel this clear coat on here has not failed right there's a difference between clear coat failing which would be like the white Honda Civic I restored whereas these are just cloudy that just means that the clear on the outside of the headlight has just started to yellow and really you can polish that off you can actually slightly sand it off uh, to get it towards restored like new so unless you have patches of clear coat missing on your headlight Really, there's no need to completely resand that headlight and refinish it. If it's yellow like this, you can usually get away with polishing it, and then I highly recommend putting a paint protection film on there or some kind of ceramic coat sealant. Now, there's other headlight kits out there. For example, there is the Cerakote kit. It's not a bad option, it's just I feel like you still see the sanding marks when you're done. So what I wanna do for today is actually sand these down with 3000 grit and then come back through with a three inch machine and uh, maybe like a wool or microfiber pad with some compound. But anyway, I'm rambling as usual, so uh, let's jump into it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. All right, so let me show you what I'm getting on here. So for the stuff I'm using today for the headlight restoration, again, 3000 grit Trizac. It's a foam disc, one of my favorites, to knock off the yellowing along with some good old fashioned water. And then after that, I'm gonna be taking my machine here, the Porter Cable 7424. Uh, that you can get a knockoff version at Harbor Freight for like 40 bucks or pay 90 bucks for the real thing and then throw a three inch backing plate on it. And then here, last cut compound, and a microfiber pad for the three inch. And then I have hyper polish inside here by Optimum with a Rupus yellow pad. And then after everything's all done up, we're gonna be hitting it with some uh, crystal serum light a ceramic coating just to keep that good look locked in. And then eventually I'll probably paint protection film the headlights once I have some more time. So a uh, pretty simple process. Um, just watch, you'll be able to you know, figure it out as we go along. Uh, but this is something that you can do on the side and make money. Seriously, you can make a ton of money doing headlight restoration and uh, it's really easy. You know, once you do your first several sets, it's like, you know, clockwork. And then it really just depends again on how yellow they are, if there's clear coat failure and other things like that, you have to factor in. But um, I have plenty of videos on that stuff on my YouTube channel, so make sure to check it out. So with that said, first things first, I'm gonna rinse off this front end, give it like a quick rinseless wash, just to get it all cleaned up, uh, dry it off, and then we're gonna jump in. So you're gonna make yourself comfortable here. We're gonna be taking 
our water and our Trizac paper. And you're gonna start dousing everything with water after you've taped it off. Now, I don't know how much clear coat is left on these headlights, so I'm gonna not go too hard in the clear if you're picking up what I'm putting down here. So I'm just gonna kinda lightly go everything with a 3000 and let the compound and everything else do most of the work for me. So I'm gonna come through and just start kinda sanding away, right? Like Mr. Miyagi. Now the only part I'm kinda concerned about here is gonna be this lower corner. If I can get, if I can fit my machine into there, I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. I have a smaller machine I might jump to for that corner, but we just wanna get it nice, even stroke. So what I like to do when it comes to sanding is I kinda go in two different directions. Get it all knocked down, and then I'll come here and work diagonally one way, going nice and light, not applying a ton of pressure, work all the way down, and then I'll flip it in the other direction, and start working it that way. Make sure to keep rinsing as you're going along. And if you're looking for a complete detailed breakdown on sanding the clear completely off, I just watched the White Civic uh, headlight restoration video. That one, we removed all of the clear. We left nothing left behind. We're just going for a nice, smooth, even finish. All right, so, that looks pretty good. What I'm looking for is any like deep scratches. If anything stands out to me, then I need to go back over those. But that's a nice, smooth, flat looking finish. And so at this point, uh, we can jump to compounding. All right, so for this step, got our microfiber pad here, got my compound, give it a nice shake. And then we are going to spread it into our pad and then work it in with our hands so we cover all the fibers. Like that. Take your finger, go over everything, give it a nice even coat. Take our machine, we're gonna do a speed setting of three and a half to start and then work our way up. All right, so at this point, I'll give it a quick peek just to see if we're a uh, getting the result we're looking for. And uh, I think we are. I am gonna have to take out a different machine to get down inside this lower section. I just, I can't fit that machine into there. So I'll bust out my little Rupes Hybrid Nano. Uh, but you could also hand polish that if you wanted to. Basically take some compound on here and then just Mr. Miyagi it until you get a good finish. But um, yeah, that's gonna look pretty good. Let's keep going. So before you use a coating, you always want to use some type of IPA or a paint prep made by that coating company. So in this case, I'm using uh, the G-Technic panel wipe. All right, so for the coating, I'm using G-Technic crystal serum. Had an extra bottle lying around. Get a little of that coating on there. Apply it. It's gonna look nice and glossy. We'll let that set up for probably, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, you'll start to notice that the coating will flash off and uh, then we'll wipe it off. All right, take our towel, start buffing off the coating. Oh, that feels good. Feels nice and slick. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the before and this is the after. That is a night and day difference, if I say so myself. A lot more clarity, I'll be able to see better at night, and it just makes the car look just a hell of a lot newer. So, so I'll knock out this one right here with just some beauty shots, but uh, overall guys, I mean, uh, 
so much better. So, so much better. Alright guys, so I just wrapped up the driver's side headlight and it looks so, so good. I'm telling you, headlights make or break a car. If you have yellowed headlights, instead of replacing them, try to fix them first. See if you can restore them and see if you can get them back to new and save you a ton of money because this was possible here with a couple machines, a little bit of compound, a little bit of sandpaper, and I was able to bring these back to life. I know a lot of people, they see the machine and they get really like nervous, like, Anthony, how expensive are those? How do I get one of those? Guys, I'm telling you, Harbor Freight, 50 bucks. You can go get something very similar to what I was using today and order some pads online, a little bit of compound, and you'll be able to get the same result here. And so, I'm um, super pumped, man. I'm gonna be able to see better at night now. It looks way more uh, aggressive for a hybrid. And yes, this is just the first of many things that this car needs, but uh, I'm happy with it. I think it looks really, really good. So, uh, fresh oil, fresh headlights. Again, one step closer to a cleaner CRZ. Uh, now I just need to address um, all the dents on the car, um, all the other bad paint on the car, uh, the suspension, wheels, tires and uh, maybe some aero stuff on here as well. But we'll get there one step at a time. It's coming, it's coming. But uh, yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out. Headlights look great, and I'm excited to go take this thing for a rip. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, maybe found it entertaining, or maybe even learned something, hopefully. Um, again, this is all stuff in the process of making a cleaner car. I promise you, it's definitely gonna get there, and you will eventually Love the CRZ. Maybe not as much as the Civic, but I think you'll at least respect it once it's all said and done. Uh, I'm just really excited to get there and uh, I already got parts on order and everything like that. And so uh, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are excited for me. We're gonna get there. We're gonna make this cool. Even if it's an automatic hybrid, I promise it's gonna be badass. So as always guys, if you wanna see more of the CRZ content, more of the Honda Civic content or whatever it may be, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Salt Anthony. Peace.